Welcome to our lecture online. So here we're going to differentiate, find the derivatives of some trigonometric functions. And we're going to use some of the techniques that we've learned, like perhaps the quotient rule. So here we're starting with the sine and the cosine. So if y equals the sine of x, the derivative, y prime, which is the same as saying dy dx, the derivative of the function y with respect to x, that is going to be equal to simply the cosine of x. So the derivative of the sine is the cosine. And it turns out that if we take the derivative of the cosine of x, so y prime, which is equal to dy dx, that is equal to the negative sine of x. So those are the two basic trigonometric functions and their derivatives. Now we're going to use that information to try to find the derivative of the tangent of x because we can write the tangent as being the sine of x divided by the cosine of x. And now we're going to use the quotient rule in order to find the derivative. So here we can say that y prime is equal to the denominator, which is the cosine of x, times the derivative of the numerator, which is the cosine of x, minus the numerator, which is the sine of x, divided by the derivative of the denominator, which is the negative sine of x, all divided by, in this case we have the denominator squared. Now notice, this, is, this gives us, this is equal to the cosine square of x, minus times the minus, plus the sine square of x, divided by the cosine square of x. And so then you realize the numerator is equal to 1, and so this can be written as 1 over the cosine square of x. Now, of course, 1 over the cosine is equal to the secant, and you might want to be able then to say, well, this is equal to the secant square of x. So we can simplify it like that. And we can do exactly the same for the cotangent of x. We can write the cotangent as being equal to the ratio of the cosine of x divided by the sine of x. And then again, we use, as we did here, the quotient rule. So we can write that y prime is equal to the denominator, sine of x, times the derivative of the numerator, which is the minus uh, sine of x, minus the numerator, which is the cosine of x, times the derivative of the sine, which is the cosine of x, all divided by the denominator, which is the sine square of x, or the denominator squared, so sine square of x. Notice again, we can factor out a negative, so this becomes a negative 1 times, here we have the sine times the sine or the sine square of x, plus the cosine square of x, all divided by the sine square of x. So the sine square of x plus the cosine square of x is equal to 1 times the negative 1 is negative 1, so this is equal to negative 1 over the sine square of x, and of course the sine square of x, 1 over the sine can be written as the uh, cosecant, so we can say that this is equal to minus the cosecant square of x. And then when we talk about taking the derivative of the secant and the cosecant, again we're going to use the same technique. We can say that this is equal to 1 over the cosine of x, and then we use the quotient rule. We can say that y prime is equal to the denominator, which is the cosine of x, times the derivative of the numerator. Of course, that's a constant, and that derivative of a constant is 0, minus the numerator, times the derivative of the denominator. The derivative of the cosine of x is the negative sine of x. And we divide all that by the denominator squared. I'm stumbling over my words. The denominator squared. There we go. So this is 0, minus times the minus becomes plus, so this becomes the sine of x divided by the cosine square of x. And then, of course, that is really the derivative, but you can write it in some other ways. For example, the sine divided by the cosine is a tangent, so you could also write this as the tangent of x divided by the cosine of x. And 1 over the cosine can be written as the secant, so you could potentially write this as the tangent of x times the secant of x. So you can see that there's a lot of different ways in which you can write the final answer. They're all correct. All right. So again, uh, sine over cosine is tangent, and you have 1 over cosine left, which is the same as the secant of x. And we're going to do the same over here. The cosecant of x, that's equal to 1 over the sine of x. 
And so when we take the derivative, y prime, that's equal to the denominator, which is the sine of x, times the derivative of the numerator, which is a constant, so that becomes 0, minus the numerator, times the derivative of the denominator, which is the cosine of x, all divided by the sine square of x. Notice that this is 0. This becomes a minus cosine of x, so we can write this as a minus cosine of x over the sine square of x. And the cosine over the sine is equal to the tangent, so this can be written as minus the tangent of x divided by the sine of x. And of course, 1 over sine can be written as the cosecant, so this could be written as minus the tangent of x times the cosecant of x. And one of these forms is a correct answer, it's just whatever, uh, well, your professor wants you to write the answer in. So, this gives you a nice little overview on finding the derivative of the sine, the cosine, the tangent, and the cotangent, and the secant, and the cosecant. And again, here we use the, the rule, the quotient rules, in order to be able to find the derivative of the last four. And that is how it's done. I think you should uh, draw the borders. Cause... Draw the borders so it's not so confusing. Yeah, you're probably right. So let's go ahead and go like this. Okay, so there gives you the sine and the cosine, and then like this. So now you have the tangent and the cotangent, and then here we have the secant and the cosecant. Is that a little bit better? Yes. All right. I'm used to the other side of the board. Use some more space. You have a whole board on behind you. Yeah, I do, but you know, that, then I'm standing in front of it. So I'm trying to. I guess I could have tried to use a little bit more board space. Poor planning on my part. <laughs>